Hey everyone, this is Mike. I'm in here for another uh, kind of short episode here of uh, making your first LiDAR course. This is not meant to be a giant complex course creation video. Uh, it's just meant to get you started and uh, hopefully you're enjoying some things. I'm seeing some of you online or posting things about how you're getting your course made and th that's a great thing. Uh, you're going to learn more and more over time. I know I'm still learning a, a lot and some people I'm sure are going to be uh, giving me some, some tips here as we go along as well. Uh, so I am going to go ahead first and uh, well the thing that we ended with was we created our course file. Now we've got to get our course file in a place where we can use it. So I used my Quails, Quail Meadows folder over here. That's where I put my course file and you can see it right there. It says quailmeadows.course. I need to get that into the golf club. And the way I do that is I come over here, I select my hard drive, I select users, I select my name okay now I'm gonna go into this folder app data if you do not have this folder app data up go to view and click where it says hidden items that's where you need to go you need to click that so that you can see all items uh, app data is kept hidden but we need it for this uh, purpose so I'm gonna click app data whoops I go to local low I click on 2K because I'm in Steam, but if you are not in Steam, if you are in the simulator version, I believe it'll say HB Studios. The Golf Club 2019, and then you click on the courses file, okay? Here's two courses I am working on right now, and it's just sitting there waiting for me. What I need to do is I just need to take the Quail Meadows course file. I need to drag it over here. And then when I go into TGC, it should have that, uh, that file should be there. Let's give it a shot. If you are on the simulator version, I do recommend clicking, clicking quickly from each screen to each screen as soon as you can. There is a flaw with TGC where it erases your preferences if you don't. If you just let it go from screen to screen by itself and you don't want that. Okay, so I am going to go to designer up here in the tabs or you can just click right and then I'm going to unpublished courses. And I've got Quail Meadows right there. I edit there. So it takes just a minute to come up. It's taking and bringing all the data in. And we're hoping everything is going to come through correctly because I haven't tested this yet. Looking pretty good. Some of those trees will go away. There they go. Okay. And you'll see that um, my yellow bar is at about a third, which is where I want it to start with. I don't want a lot there. Okay. I've got, uh, looks pretty good. So I have water over here. Water is the first thing I usually work on. And uh, there's a reason for that. Water is kind of makes the course once you get that water in there the course starts to look like a course so I go through I go through it and the first thing I do is water now I'm noticing one thing that um, I did have some stray trees populate inside my water uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to select and remove those because that, that's gonna take a little while I click on the edit tab click the tree Okay, it's an elm tree, and I want to delete it. Okay, this unfortunately takes just a little bit of time. I'm not sure why it picked, I think it picked up some of these things. There's a lot of um, murky stuff in this water when I looked at it from satellite view. I think it picked up some of that murkiness as trees. Because you'll see there's a perfect straight line. I think it picked that up as trees. 
Some of these are going to be underwater, so they're not going to matter so much. I'm going to get the ones that I know are going to... See, that's a poplar, and I'm just going to delete it. And that's an ash. Just delete that. Okay, the rest of them... Oh, that one's got to go. And delete there. This whole huge line, I'm just going to see what... Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't need to do these ones. Because I know these ones are going to show. This rarely happens. I really... Sometimes I'll get ones on edges like this. But I really have not seen much like this with this many. But, you know, you just roll with it. and You realize that you just take and make some swaps and that's an oak this just takes a couple minutes just takes a little bit of time okay let me get the rid of that one So I'm just clicking on the trees, you get the yellow highlight. Sometimes you'll have to mess with it and you'll have to click around it for a little while. If you get stuck and you absolutely can't click an object that you really need to click, just click play test and then go back to edit and then you'll usually be able to click it. All right, so I'm gonna put some water in here and then I'll delete these the trees that you can see because there's so many of them. Okay, so I'm going to get in a good position here where I can get most of the water in as few panes as possible. You don't want a lot of panes. You want to get them in as few panes as possible. That way you don't have any as much risk for, what's, for runoff into areas that you don't intend water to be. All right, so I'm going to go to my edit, and I'm going to go to create add, and then I'm going to create water. So I want to do a water body. Okay, I come over here, and I want to um, I want to expand it. So I'm going to get it about the right width. Don't want it too much wider again because I want to avoid that runoff. I think I'm going to do this in a couple segments. Just runoff is just a pain. It's not fun to deal with. Because then you got to raise a lot of ground and stuff. Okay. Now I want to kind of zoom zoom in, get to ground level, and I want to raise the water. Okay, raising the water up to ground level. I'm going to go around and I'm just going to make sure that I got it all at ground level. Okay, I'm going to raise it just a little bit more. Now watch if I raise it too high. See how there's all this water spill off on the side? That's what I want to avoid. I want to get rid of that. So I bring it. I can see I'm going to have to do some maneuvering there. See how I got it on the back side? If I take and I slide it a little more forward, now I get rid of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and select it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So now I got some water. I got some trees that I'm going to have to remove there. But notice, not all of it's filled in. So I need to go ahead and do some adjustments here. I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, it's not spilling out. That's great. That'll be helpful.
Now it will go at the same height uh, unless you raise or lower it again. Oh, I just saw an error. Let me see. No, it worked. Now if I don't overlap my seams there, like where that seam is, if I don't overlap it, like you see right here, see how that's all blank? Okay, I didn't overlap my seams. It'll give you these weird blank spots, okay? Now I can see I'm gonna need to do a little bit of digging, touch up, see where those uh, these mulch spots are. I'm gonna have to touch all those up. Make this smaller. Hmm. I'll have to dig a little there. Remember, you can use your Q to get more editing tools to fit it more closely. Hmm. Okay, so you can see some of these areas are just a little higher. When you get that, you just need to do a little bit of digging because it didn't dig out enough. So let's go ahead and let's escape. Let's take a look here. Let's try and lay some water one more time here. So it's there. Um, we just got to dig some. So let's go back. I'm going to sculpt land. I'm going to go to landscape rays. And I use the tool that I think I can get the best shape off of. And this is one I, I like this one. This is probably my favorite for digging out small areas see how that fits right in there really well okay so I'm gonna take it down about seven feet so I click my shift now see how it's digging it out I'm gonna go to this side I can see better here Down a little deep, too deep there. Okay, about there. Sometimes you get it a little too far out. I got that one a little too far out. I'm going to undo that one. Just try and get it as close as you can here. Alright, I'm going to try and get rid of some of the, these swells. I'm going to turn it. Try and even it out. There we go. Now it looks very close to the normal size. Now see how this is like over here? See how this is all jagged? Um, that's not good. We want to take and want to smooth that out. So I'm going to use this shape to do that. 
I want to, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bring it in and move it towards until I start to see it smooth out. I'll get rid of some of those jagged lines. There we go. See how the jagged lines are gone now? I'll do the same thing over here. This one isn't too bad right here. I'm just going to try and get rid of that point. Okay, that looks a lot better. So I got the same thing all throughout here. I got these jagged lines. Again, this just takes some time to do. I just kind of slide it so that I get rid of some of that right there. Make it look a little bit more natural. This happens sometimes when TGC digs a hole that's too deep. It leaves some jagged edges because it got too deep too fast. Okay, now notice I got all these little mulch spots here. I'm going to use this tool to get rid of those. So I'm just getting it close to the point where the mulch disappears. I don't need to get it all the way there, just close to that point. There, hopefully, we'll do it. Yep, I got it. Okay, so now I'm just making getting rid of some jagged spots here. One right here. Mm, more closer, I think. And looks like one right here, too. Okay, let's look at the lake from above and see. Looking pretty good there. Okay, no mulch spots. Everything looks pretty natural and smooth. There's one spot I'm concerned about right here. Yes. Okay, you'll see right here where the there's the intersection of... See, was the intersection of the two panes of water, and I missed a little spot right here, so that is not showing properly. I got to put a little pane of water in here just to uh, cover that area, otherwise, it's going to look like there's a hole in the water, and we don't want that. So, I got to go back to my edits, create add, create water, water body, and I just got to put another plane of water and pane of water in here. To cover up that spot. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that body of water is done. Now this one over here, I put a pane of water on here. For some reason, it didn't really dig out. So I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to dig it out. And if I dig it out, the water should be there. 
I'm going to sculpt the land, landscape rays, even though I'm flattening I'm still using landscape rays. Um, I am going to use the circle tool to start out with. Yeah, see the water's there, it's just not dug out enough. Okay, so I can get my circle a little smaller. I'm gonna turn it. Try and get it as close as I can get it. Take it right there. And now I'm just going to touch up that one little area. With this tool that I use so often. I'm going to make it small. And I'm going to rotate it. Okay, just fit it in there. I like to use the point of it. Okay, so I got, I took care of that. Still has that natural little bank between the two small lakes. And we're set to go. All right, so now with this, you just go ahead and repeat all your water. Uh, and then you're good there. Now, I want to go ahead and talk to you about grass. Tall grass. Okay. Let's come over here. Now this segment I designated as concrete just so that it was outlined and I've got the outline of the grass that I need. So I come back over here and I create add. I place objects. I want to do nature. I'm doing grass. I kind of have my go-to grasses. Um, kind of like that one for tall grass. If you take a look at it, uh, it it's kind of a lot like the grasses that we have in Illinois. It's not quite but it is taller than the other ones. Uh, we typically have a lot of four foot high grasses here in Illinois uh, that are in a lot of courses. Okay, so I'm right by my object there. I've got my grass, which you can't see for some reason very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Z because Z will give me my multi-object. Okay, and I want to start at an edge and I want to plant out. All right, so this is going to take a long time. Grasses are not easy. And they just take a lot of time to generate. You just keep on clicking and clicking and clicking. Okay, so you can click your control and then your scroll, and that's going to get you a bigger 
area that you can do this from. It'll make your objects bigger and then you can, uh, I'm sorry, not your objects bigger, but the amount of objects larger. Your alt will make more density. See if I click on, I'm on alt. If I scroll down, it makes them less dense. If I scroll up, it makes them more dense. So I'm just doing my perimeter right now. Primarily working on perimeter. And see if I were to come down to ground level, you can kind of see how it's coming together. Up top, it looks a little weird. But I'm trying to get my area set by being above. I'm going to do the perimeter first. Then I'm going to get rid of the gray. Then I'm going to add color. You always want to add color. And I hate to say this, but sometimes even if the golf course doesn't have color, Sometimes you want to add color to make it a little bit more interesting and make it pop out a little bit more to the to the player. So as you can see this just takes this just takes time. The big track of grass. And we have tons of these all over Illinois. This is just kind of normal course ar architecture for here. And I want to overlap to create more fullness. As you can see, it's coming together here. But I have a little lack of fullness there. You want to get these close, but you don't have to get them exact because even on the regular course, you know, it's going to change year to year, month to month, and even sometimes day to day where they mow things closer or they get rid of weeds or stuff, you know. So I try and get them close, but I don't worry about them being perfect. I'll have to get that one later. So I have to plant that one individually.
So you see my blue line over here, and so I'm getting close to my water plane. None of that's going to show when we have the actual game running. Okay, so I've almost finished my outline. Okay, so what I, I would end up doing here now is I would fill in and I'd go and I'd take a look and get my color and then after my color, then I'd go back with this and fill in any bare spots. Okay, so I'm gonna click out of this and I'm gonna go back to my beginning menu. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and find a spline point. See this yellow dot, that's a spline point. I'm gonna click on spline point. I'm gonna click on delete and I'm going to delete path and you'll see all my gray go away. Okay, so now all I've got are those tall grasses right there and I've got the outline of the shape that I want. Now I'm just going to show you about adding color and then I'm going to go back and I'll fill in later and get everything with that looking really good. I don't want to take a lot of recording time doing that. So I'm going to create add, I'm going to place objects nature it's going to be I'm going to use grass I'm not going to use plants but I'm going to add color and I believe this one was yellow if I remember right it had a yellow to it and we noticed in our course that we had yellow no oh, that's the wrong one where is the one that has yellow is it this one oh, that's a natural grass just find one that has some good, there's some reds. There's some blues. Now add a little red to it. So you just find what you think is gonna go well with the course architecture. Well, I'm gonna do this one. It's looking like the steam is not offering reds, uh, offering yellows. I'm gonna do it in a, I'm gonna do it in a, the red. That's gonna, that'll look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my Z. Okay. So now if I go in there, click. Right, see how that's adding some color to it? That color starts to add dimension. So see how that looks so much better than that once I start adding the red in there. And now see some, I made mistakes, uh, how I overlapped right there. Make sure you can use your U to undo because I got it too close to the edge. I kind of like to stick it out just past the edge, but not, a, you know, like a couple inches. I'm gonna go through and combine this red
And I do this before I fill in bare spots. Because this will take care of some of the bare spots on its own. Okay, so I just continue this process all the way around. And you'll see that we have worked on getting some nice tall grasses. We added the reds to it. We got some water. Um, and we are moving towards getting that course. I'll complete all these tall grasses. I'll complete all the water. And I will show you what it looks like in the next step. I hope that you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all later. Have a good day, everyone.